Hello, hello. My name is Ben Thomas. I am a solutions engineer here at GitHub. And I wanted to take a little bit of time today to walk you through what Copilot is and, and do a demo to show off kind of how it can be used to accelerate your development. For starters, Copilot is an AI pair programmer that helps you write code faster and with less work. It draws context from the surrounding comments and code to suggest not only individual lines, but whole functions. It's useful for things like converting comments into code. It can do that from natural language. Uh, it can autofill repetitive code, like writing test cases or assigning variables. It can show alternative ways to write different functions or algorithms. And it can help developers learn new languages and frameworks by quickly showing them what the tools and feature sets are of those uh, languages and frameworks. How effective is it? GitHub conducted a survey of more than 2,000 developers that use Copilot during the technology preview and found that 88% of developers reported increased productivity, 74% of developers reported that Copilot enabled them to focus on more satisfying work, and they also ran, GitHub also ran a study of 95 professional developers and a kind of an A-B test of creating an HTTP, HTTP server in JavaScript, and the developers who used Copilot completed the task 55% faster than those who didn't. So you can see more about that uh, on the GitHub blog. So I'm going to be walking through a demo today to show off these different features and how Copilot works. The example code base that I have here is a simple API that calls, when you call an endpoint, it performs a certain math function on that endpoint. So I have kind of my, my Express app here with an add endpoint that will add two query parameters together and a power endpoint that raises one parameter to the power of another. Uh, I hit the endpoint here with the add function of a equals one and b equals two, and it returns six. So that's just how it works. And what I want to do with Copilot is add a new endpoint. I want to write the math logic behind that endpoint, and I want to generate test cases to test all of my different uh, core logic behind my math functions. And I'm going to show how how that's done and how that makes your life easier. So I'll start by adding the new endpoint. Um, Copilot kind of has a, a guess of kind of the way that I've been structuring my comments so far in my application, as well as the type of functions that I'm trying to write. Uh, it's suggesting that I write an endpoint that returns a sum of an array of numbers. I actually think what I'd like to do is create an endpoint that uh, takes in an array and returns an array of only the prime numbers in that array. So it will name my endpoint for me contextually based on what it thinks uh, it will would make sense there. So it's going to call the endpoint primes. And then it also, you can see, it's following the logic of the rest of my application uh, because, uh, let's see here. Uh, you can see that all of my other endpoints are handling the inputs through these math utils that I've created in a separate folder in my application. So it's going to follow that same structure for this new primes endpoint that I'm trying to create. Uh, you can see it takes in only one query parameter because it knows that it's only taking in one array rather than um, an endpoint that takes in multiple numbers. And it's converting it to a string like, like the other endpoints here. So let's go into my math utils folder and go ahead and add this math util primes function. So uh, the name of the function is going to be math utils primes. And Copilot can see that it takes in an array. And it's already going to suggest to me the function of how I'm going to do this. So it's going to start with an empty array. It's going to loop through the input array, check if it's a prime number, and then push that to the primes array, and then return that primes array. Uh, I can also see that it's doing kind of smart coding practices and breaking up discrete functions. So it's going to call an is prime function. So I'm going to go ahead and let Copilot code that for me as well. So this is prime function takes in a number and then returns a true or false on whether that function is prime. You can see here that I didn't even have to write comments. Uh, it, it kind of referenced the original call to the math utils prime, and it, it knows exactly uh, what it needs to be returning because it has the context throughout your application. It's much easier to do this than to kind of 
search uh, a generic search and and not have something tailored to the problem that you're trying to solve. Um, so that looks good. And now I can go ahead and export my math util primes function that's going to back my primes endpoint. You can see here, all I did in this file is just hit tab. Copilot knew exactly what I was trying to accomplish. It showed me the algorithms um, and it wrote the function for me. Um, so now I have my, my new endpoint. I have my, uh, my API uh, up and running. But what I don't have is test cases. So I don't have any test cases written for any of the functions in my math utils folder that are backing my application. Um, I'm going to go ahead and import my primes function as well. And I've gone ahead and preceded this file with a comment that says write mocha test for the functions in the math utils directory. So I want to I want to write unit tests for all of the the uh, this logic that I've been programming. And this is really helpful because writing test cases can be quite a time commitment for developers, even though it's really important work. So I'm going to go ahead and seed uh, a describe to start my first unit test. And it's it already sees that it's going to start with the first function in my math utils directory and start writing my unit test for me. So it's even writing the plain language of describing what the test is doing. It's assume, making the assumption that the math utils add function should add two numbers. So it's describing that. And then it's generating the test case for me. Expect math utils add underscore add of one and two to equal three because one plus two equals three. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter twice now and it's going to actually cycle through all of the functions in my uh, math utils folder. So I'm really just hitting tab here, enter twice, and now it's going to the final function, which is math util prime, which it's taking that comment that I wrote at the endpoint, and it's telling me that it should return an array of only the prime numbers in that array. Um, which is pretty cool. Uh, it just wrote all my test cases for me, not only named the test cases, described what they should do, and then seeded them with the expectation of, okay, if I passed in an array of numbers 1 through 10, the only prime numbers are 2, 3, 5, and 7. Um, I know that for matching arrays with Mocha Kai, I need to do a, a deep check, but other than that, these tests look really good. So I'm going to go ahead and run npm test to run my test cases. And now I can see that I have three passing test cases describing each of my uh, math logic functions. So this is really nice. It's, it's wrote some simple tests for me. But what if I want to write a test that um, passes negative numbers into my math add function? So um, let's do a test case for math utils add. Um, that takes in two negative numbers. And boom. Copilot knew exactly what I was talking about, and it created a test case for um, my math utils add that adds negative one and negative two and assumes that it's going to equal negative three. So that's kind of, I would say, one of the huge differentiators between something like Copilot and... Um, and a, a more simple autocomplete type of tool, like um, it, it can read natural language. It can understand like plain English and convert that to what it looks like in code and vice versa. It could write, uh, it, it can guess what comments are gonna be associated with a certain function and then it can convert that to code and you don't even have to write anything. It can write the entire function from start to finish. Um, it goes beyond uh, just writing test cases or math logic. Let's say in my input that I wanted to sanitize some of the inputs here. So maybe I want to say um, uh, validate that the input array only contains numbers larger than 20. If not, return an error message. Uh, so it's going to loop through my input query. It's going to ensure that uh, the numbers, if there's any number less than 20, send a response uh, that the input array contains numbers that are smaller than 20. Or let's also validate that um, the input numbers are integers. If not, return an error message. It's going to check 
that each of the input query parameters is an integer, and if not, it's going to return an error message. Um, so it's really easy to explain to Copilot what you want it to accomplish and, and get some suggestions on uh, how to do that. So it was able to kind of handle complex math logic. Uh, it was able to write unit tests um, to describe that complex math, complex math logic. And it's able to understand plain language and convert that to code. Um, so like if I wanted an endpoint that takes in um, five numbers and returns the median, it's going to uh, see it's now it's recognizing that I do some validation based on the way that I'm writing my previous endpoints and it's validating that the input array only contains five numbers and then it's calling the math utils median function just like I do in the rest of my application so there's really like um, a benefit here to copilot being your partner in the way that you're trying to write something it's, it helps new developers kind of quickly get online with an existing code base and understanding how functions are written in that code base. Um, so yeah, I hope this was a helpful preview of the types of things you can do in Copilot. Um, like we talked about, uh, it, it excels in converting comments to code, autofilling repetitive code, things like writing use cases, showing alternative ways to write codes, and helping developers learn new languages and frameworks. So. Um, I hope this is uh, helpful for you. Uh, I encourage you to dive in and, and test it out. It's really a, a game-changing tool, and it, it makes your job a whole lot more fun. Thank you so much.